Hello, my name is Blake Patterson, and welcome to Afro Reviews. On the latest episode of the classic series, I examine What's Eating Gilbert Grape. What if I told you What's Eating Gilbert Grape was not merely a coming-of-age story, but about the overwhelming progress of capitalism and the creation of mythology through prejudice in small-town America. Based on letterboxed reactions in my circle, people will laugh at my viewpoint as much as they did when I dismissed Forrest Gump for being offensive. However, there is intelligence in What's Eating Gilbert Grape's development of Small Town America through Johnny Depp's title character. Considering how most modern melodramas follow a formula, What's Eating Gilbert Grape may derive from sentiment, but there are insights beneath the surface. While some people would label the film as average or insubstantial, What's Eating Gilbert Grape subtly examines capitalism's domination and communal mythology through intolerance, shares a thematic affinity with Jim Jarmusch's Dead Man, and seeks inspiration from the classic melodramas. Capitalism is a part of the narrative through the incorporation of a new food land and burger barn. Gilbert works at Lamson's Grocery, a small store in Endora, Iowa, and Foodland's establishment is likely to affect the financial status of Lamson's Grocery. Then there is the hope and eventual success of Burger Barn in Endora, which offers a sense of celebration against the narrative's central conflicts. One must also remember when Ken Carver speaks with Gilbert about his lack of insurance, which is a reference to the state of Lamson's grocery. While many recall this sequence due to Gilbert's angst about the affair, the insurance dialogue is relevant to this theme. As capitalism grows in Endora, conflicts arise in Gilbert's life and around his family. The formation of mythology through prejudice occurs through three different people, Arnie Grape, Betty Carver, and Bonnie Grape. Bonnie Grape has been considered a communal myth due to her obesity, yet none of the self-righteous people in Endora have spoken to her. Endora utilizes Bonnie as a subject for mockery to build themselves up as superior individuals. There are scenes involving cruel children and adults looking at Bonnie as if she is an alien, then Arnie is the next generation subject of mockery due to his autism and behavior around others, particularly climbing up a water tower. Betty Carver, the woman Gilbert has an affair with, is likely to become a communal myth when the small town's gossipers suggest she is responsible for her husband's death. As Bobby McBurney explains, Ken Carver's death is due to a heart attack and falling into a kiddie pool, but the public believes Betty is a murderer. The mythological theme reaches its conclusion when the family decides it is best to burn the family home instead of letting people pull out their dead mother. They realize that Bonnie will remain a myth either way, but they know she would prefer to be in her house. Cinematically speaking, What's Eating Gilbert Grape shares a unique kinship with Dead Man. The casting of Johnny Depp and Crispin Glover is an obvious point, but it is much deeper than the casting. Both films feature Johnny Depp wandering around an American landscape where times are changing. Hedges and Jarmish have a problem with capitalism's impact on communities and how it affects the family. Both works concern communal misconceptions of the main characters. In Dead Man, William Blake is the passive character who people claim to know his identity when he is not. There is also the self-aware theme of America's ignorant regard toward 
Native Americans. Andorra's patronizing citizens believe they understand Bonnie, Arnie, and Betty when they do not. Dead Man and What's Eating Gilbert Grape derive from the notion of big business affecting the people through commercialism and mythos. While the socio-political ideas are significant, the central plot concerns a young man coming to terms with his life and family. Becky, a young woman, arrives in town with her grandmother after their vehicle breaks down. On the surface, one may expect Becky is the pixie dream girl who services... Gilbert, yet she is more complex and honest than the suggestion. Against the elegant rural landscape, Gilbert and Becky's romantic relationship recalls the power of the great melodramas from the 50s. The music complements the cinematography. The theme of misconception also plays into the recollection of those classic melodramas, particularly Douglas Sirk's all that heaven allows. The grace of Lasse Hallstrom's direction, Hedges' writing, and exceptional performances help create a beautifully wrought melodrama. If there are problems with What's Eating Gilbert Grape, it concerns the conclusion and how it differs from the novel. From what I recall, Hedges' book concludes with a tragic, ambiguous note, while Hallstrom's film leaves audiences with optimistic information about the aftermath. While the film's ending is effective, What's Eating Gilbert Grape would be more impactful without it, specifically regarding its socio-political themes. Still, What's Eating Gilbert Grape is much more than the average family drama. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great night.